everyone I'm coming to you with a review here on the Barry M starry eyed palette it's a shadow and blush palette and if you would like to see swatches of this palette and hear my overall take experience in using this particular product please continue watching so I got this product um, in a swap with Steffi MC we did a swap earlier in February so Barry M is a product of I think the UK and it's also sold on Amazon on eBay but I find that it's can tend to be a little pricey even in um, the UK she told me it is um, these things are generally a bit pricey so I was happy to get it because I didn't really own any REM products outside of what I got from Melissa which was again this year and then this so I was happy to get it it's um, it says a limited edition but I have seen it on Amazon and it says indulge yourself with six rich luxurious eyeshadows and a golden peach blush includes two double-ended applicators so the ingredients are listed here and it says that it's a product of London and the website is barrym.com I'll link it for you guys below it has an 18 month lifespan and you get 9.2 grams of product and I'm assuming that's in total so this is what the packaging looks like um, it is tough cardboard um, just a nice big in the berry color I have no, absolutely no flaws or anything with the packaging you get a decent size mirror to me very similar like to the Laura feel the Laura Pro Palettes feel unzipped I did take out this sponge tip which was here because they generally usually fall out this is the blush and these are the six eyeshadows now the interesting thing is that there's no names on these for me to see so I'll describe them to you if they are going to be using a tutorial they generally um, can't call any names but you just more or less looking at the hue or the color I did use um, this to create this nice soft smoky brown eyes which generally these days seem to be a look that I'm going for a lot of soft brown smoky um, burgundy cranberry kind of eyes I don't know why but I have actually been loving those colors I think since I got this Sephora Pantone masala palette this year I have just been into that kind of nice masala warm kind of looks so <laughs> I guess that's where I'm thinking this is going so this is what the palette looks like closer up and I will definitely try to take out pictures and put it on my blog for you guys to see um, so you can get up close look so I'm gonna like start swatching the colors from what will be the left to the of the palette to the right and then tell you what I think about them you do get in these six colors a variety of finishes you do get your matte your shimmery your metallic finishes I don't think any of these here are satin and then your blush is a peach blush which I find goes well with some of the colors here um, so it's like a warm undertone you find in these colors and you also find that they they work well together I think the only one that stands out here is this second color here which is a blue but you can again can make these work I'm rambling let me get on to the swatches I am going to be swatching them on the back of my hand the first color here is a matte brown it's more like that skin tone most of these colors can generally be used for a nice soft smoky or a dramatic smoky so you always want like matte transition colors for my skin tone this is an awesome transition color I do have it on that's it there you can see very very close to my skin tone almost invisible but I do have it in the transition and then I actually did put another color <laughs> on top of it next we have and the texture of it is very smooth borderline in on a little powdery but it's very smooth and it blends silky it, it blends really really well I was really pleased with how it blended next would be this shimmery um, midnight blue looks a lot more shimmery in the pan but when swatching I'm not flicking you guys it looks more metallic so that's it there now it appeared to be a little charcoal looking on my 
um, hand here, this swatch, I'll build it up. Yes, yeah, so you're not getting that blue, you're getting a blue hue, which more or less looks like a bit charcoal. And I did apply this in the crease, and it's not like say I'm black, it's not black, it's definitely a kind of charcoal kind of mix color. Next, we have another matte color here, and it looks very marsala ish. So that's it there. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I think this was one of the colors that attracted me. Yep. It's very much like Marsala. That's one swatch and it is matte. And I will just put another swatch there with it. Gorgeous color. It's matte, but it all it feels so satin and soft. It, I don't find that it kicks up a lot of powder when I did do the whole video and swatches of this, this palette initially I think I just dug my hand way too much into it next color is a nice bronzy color very metallic has a great sheen to it that's it there and let's swatch it and as you can see from the swatch it must fall it's you have like a nice bronzy color and you can definitely build this up in to making it really um, intense but if you put it on a darker base but on my skin tone there you can see it's a nice golden color you can get a neutral look it's the if you use this and some of the neutral colors it, this makes really a gorgeous this in the lid and this blended out in the crease with the next color I'm going to swatch you get a nice neutral look so this is another matte color the third matte color it's a darker brown i have used that in the crease here to smoke out of this look so that's what it looks like it's just your standard chocolate brown matte very silky again blends amazing that's what i love about all the eyeshadows here that they do blend amazing and then the last color is what i pretty much have all over my lid and this was the one when I had a bit of a fallout. It's a bit chunky. Um, it's a big indie color which has like red flexes in it, like a bread or coppery flex in it. So that's what it looks like. So you want to tap off your brush when applying it. It looks almost like a, dark, a metallic version to this. But I placed it on my lid first before um, the acid. Double layered, so you see more of the berry burgundy color coming out there. Did place it on my lid dry on top of a brown pencil base, the one from Essence that I did get from Melissa. And it did look a bit, it looks okay, but then when I wet the brush and applied it, you got the more reddish hues coming out, which I absolutely loved. And so that's the six colors there as you can see the first one i'll just try and swatch it again it's so skin tone that it blends so beautiful it's, it's it is there again it blends so beautiful i really really love it the blush here is super pigmented that's like one swipe like literally one swipe that's the blush and this blush can also in my opinion be used as an eyeshadow that's the blush it is that pigmented and you uh, pretty much I had to use a really fluffy brush to apply it and you could still see almost clown face coral clown face um, but I, I can see this working as an eyeshadow it has a bitter follow that's the only thing you have to tap your brush to get the excess of which I did tap it like twice I see that the gold flexes do fall um, just even the pigmentation it falls out and that kind of stuff so let's hold this so that's the colors there so to make sure you guys can see and I think a lot of these colors do complement each other this palette works well with all the colors together and um, well this is the only little outsider I would see but you can make it work I have used it like even these two colors I have made it work so I definitely do think that it is workable it just stands out a little on its own maybe that little pop of color well it's not totally pop of color because it's more smoky but it does give a little jazz to it now initially when I thought of this part I thought of Marsala I thought of the Sephora Pantone so if you can't get your hands on this and you have access to this berry and palette then you're gonna get a little taste of that if you, if you also, also um, can get your hands on the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morph, 
that morphed it with collab with Jacqueline Hill. If you can't get access to their palette, then I do think that these colors are warm and nice and very comparable to her palette. And you, I mean, everybody goes crazy over this these colors here. So I do think that you know this palette can work to help satisfy that craving. All right, so that is my review on it. The colors blend really well I you do get a good wear with it they stay on your lid I always use prime on base so that's what I'm judging it from um they blend into each other they stay on overall I love this palette I have one more that I have to try out enjoy it I can see myself really killing a couple of colors <clears throat> particularly this color here once the one from my Sephora Pantone palette finishes, I can see myself really using up this one. And then I love these the nude cut this nude color here and just this color. Even this one, even though it's not totally unique, um, you get a lot of palettes. I just find that it just works well all together with this. I can see myself just picking this up to travel to use to create looks more or less. I would definitely give this palette a 4.5 out of 5. I highly recommend this palette to people if you can get it because <clears throat> it is enjoyable. I am still getting over what I've had so my voice and I started to sound raspy. I'm coughing again but I hope that you guys were able to enjoy and learn from this review. Feel free to go ahead and thumbs up this video if you enjoy this review so that it's just, you know it encourages me to know that you guys appreciate my reviews and that they are helpful for, to you. So until next time, bye.